The second movement of Constantine Hatzidakis arm likewise grabs notice when it is re-examined in the cold light of the morning following the first. The assistant referee's right elbow is brought up and into Andrew Robertson's jaw at Anfield on Sunday in the first incident, which will go down in YouTube history. This one has the potential to alter Hatsudaka's career drastically. How can he possibly be let to forget it, after all? The second movement, however, truly reveals what he is thinking to us. He shrugs his arm back in Robertson's direction as he moves away from the Liverpool player more discreetly but purposely, sending a loud and obvious message, don't touch me, abandon me, that is not the reason I am here. Many hours after the incident, it is where it all boils down, the referees and their helpers have had enough. They are tired of the lawlessness, the disrespect, and the pervasive idea that on a weekend afternoon, the people in black aren't just there to enforce the rules of the game but also to serve as verbal punching bags for players who have long since given up on the idea that there are boundaries that cannot be crossed. Robertson didn't accomplish anything on Sunday when the episode was in isolation. He did nothing more than pull on Hatsidaka's elbow. The assistant referee would have realized he was in error as soon as it was over since the reaction was intense. He won't have been shocked when the first part of the sentence, an immediate suspension from Premier League games, was delivered at noon on Monday. He probably chose as much for his personal benefit as for the game's sake. In isolation, it is incorrect to consider a single, straightforward hand on the elbow. Therefore, nothing that occurs to a referee during a typical Premier League match can be seen in this light. Everything takes place against constant criticism, disdain, and, far too frequently, abuse. In truth, nothing occurs in a vacuum. The fact that this event happened after the halftime whistle was blown is evidence of how football culture has changed over time. In some sports, such as both codes of rugby, the shrill of the referee's whistle serves as a cue for the players on each team to leave the field for a break. It is perceived as a cessation of play and all the associated energy and emotional engagement. Take a breath, please. But this is different from how football is played. Actually, in football, the halftime trip to the locker rooms is often used as a pretext to continue the excessive and sometimes one-sided stream of conversation directed at the referee and their assistants for the previous 45 minutes. As a result, we frequently witness players from both sides, often in bunches, accosting officials as they leave the field. As the referees go to the touchline, they frequently find managers and coaches waiting for them, and so forth. No one desires a lifeless, soulless game. The game on Sunday at Enfield was rough and aggressive. It contributed to its brilliance. But there has to be a resetting of the long-distorted relationship between players and officials. For instance, this is not the first instance in recent weeks in which players have felt free to touch a referee or assistant. At Anfield last month, Bruno Fernandes shoved a linesman out of the way but didn't receive a warning. Two weeks later, at Old Trafford, Alexander Mitrovic grabbed Chris Cavanaugh, and he is currently serving an eight-match suspension. Why do they act this way? They do so because they believe they can and are frequently correct. What Robertson did is not even close to Mitrovic's altercation with Kavanaugh. Yet on a larger scale, this is the working climate in which current match officials must function, so it is probably not surprising that one of them has finally decided if somewhat impulsively, it must be mentioned that he has had enough. We shouldn't expect our officials to be fully immune if players are only human and experience emotional impulses and adrenaline on game day. On a football pitch, intimidation is a feeling that referees down the pyramid and into the amateur competition are familiar with. They are aware of what it's like to be undercut and that, no matter what they do, they will serve as a focal point for the ire of 22 other players and many spectators on the sidelines. It is simple to comprehend why referees keep leaving our game at the grassroots level. On a Sunday morning, visit your neighborhood park and have a look. Anybody who disputes the obvious connection between Premier League stadiums and the parks needs to look more properly. That doesn't look like fun. Unwittingly stepping into this complex brew on Sunday were Robertson and his attacker. Hatsidakis and the Scot are only minor characters in a much bigger issue. But again, we return to the video and focus on Robertson's response. 
The defender for Liverpool is blazing hot. He screams, he just f times 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 g elbowed me, shocked that a match official has finally lost it. Nevertheless, the more we get from the emotional impact of what occurred, the more an obvious inquiry encroaches. Why hasn't this happened before?